This video is for the installation of a Pierce Bell Spike part number ABS2K. This is on a Chevrolet truck and we've determined that we're going to drill in front of the rear axle through the top flange of the frame. <laughs> it's a box frame so we only have two choices either go all uh, completely through the frame or drill into a pocket uh, a round circular cross member that's located in front of the rear axle and that's what we've decided to do. Measure from the rear of the bed to the center location of where we're going to drill and then we also measure center to center on our frame from uh, and start find the center of the bed and measure out from that point and make those locations correspond inside the bed uh, to the location under the bed by measuring both places. It's much easier to do with two people. We use no less than two half inch grade eight bolts when attaching bell spike to the frame. To make the holes, you'll see we begin by drilling a pilot hole with a quarter inch bit and we always use nylock uh, self-locking nuts on our half inch bolts that way if they were to ever work loose uh, they wouldn't become completely detached from the truck. We move on to the electrical connections of this installation. The first step is to drill two three quarter inch holes using a hole saw in the side of the bed make them approximately one inch apart. In this particular installation it's a Chevrolet it's a later model Chevrolet. The battery is located on the passenger side at the firewall. Therefore, we've mounted the connector on the passenger side of the truck. Feed the electrical cables through the plastic grommet that comes supplied in the kit. You can use the self-drilling and self-tapping screws that are supplied with the kit to fasten the gray connector to the side of your bed. The remote control uh, has a 15 foot cord. It's already wired on to the bell spike and we run that around through the passenger door. Sort the cables out and make sure that they're, they don't have any knots in them. They're not twisted, have loops. Uh, uh, pull them out straight. Tape the two ends together makes this much easier. Be very sure to stay clear of exhaust, drive shafts, uh, any moving parts that are underneath the truck. Be aware the cab is mounted on rubber and it does move around a little bit so they need to be securely fastened uh, to the frame from front to back every 12 to 15 inches. Our installation kit comes with terminal connectors for the end of the cable. Cut the cables off obviously to the required length, strip back the insulation, and crimp the cables onto the connectors. Connect the positive cable to the positive battery post first, then connect the negative cable to the battery and the negative bell spike cable to that post also and you should be ready to run.